A new revolutionary type of microscope has just been developed, and it promises to completely change whole fields of physics. And it promises to do this while technically not seeing anything. This isn't just some theoretical idea, but a practical device that has real world applications and a paper published in Nature on this invention. So why is this invention so exciting? And more importantly, how might it change the way we conduct science? This comes down to the technology changing nature of 2D materials and our lack of understanding how these materials work. The advances in silicon manufacturing completely changed computing and 2D materials might be the next stage of this evolution. So let's discuss it. Scientists from the group of Shachal Alani at the Weizmann Institute in Israel have just published a paper in the journal Nature on what they called a quantum twisting microscope. This is truly a massive deviation from normal microscopes as it doesn't use light or a beam of particles to image something. It works in a completely different principle. And this new microscope is extremely exciting as it is capable of solving a fundamental question in 2D materials. What happens when we add a twist to 2D materials? It may not be obvious what I mean by this. So let me explain. 2D materials came on the scene in 2007 when graphene was first discovered and resulted in the 2010 Nobel Prize in Physics. The interesting thing is when you take electrons and you confine them to a 2D sheet rather than a 3D volume, they behave differently. All of a sudden, the material's qualities change. And this change can not only demonstrate quite exotic physics, but it can also lead to extremely useful technologies. So understanding what happens in these two dimensional materials is of great interest and is something I study in my research. When we boil it down, the intrigue in 2D materials comes down to interactions. How do atoms interact with each other in the plane? And how can we control this interaction? One method for controlling these interactions is to put another two dimensional material on top of the first one. This additional interaction can lead to extremely exotic physics, depending on how exactly these layers are placed. In the case of 2D magnets, a single monolayer may be ferromagnetic. Then, if a second layer of the same material is placed such that the atoms all line up, there will be two ferromagnetic layers, making it twice as strong. But if the atoms were offset such that they lay in between the other atoms, then this could become anti-ferromagnetic, the complete opposite. Now, if the position of these atoms has such a dramatic change in the material's properties, one question we could ask is, what would happen if the positions varied across the plane? This is where something called moray patterns come into play. You've probably seen moray patterns before. They arise when you have two patterns that are overlapped to make a new pattern. Let's take graphene as an example. Graphene has a hexagonal pattern in the atoms. If we take another sheet of graphene and place it on top and then twist it, we see that a new pattern emerges, but has a very different size. This size difference is extremely important because it becomes the parameter that we can tune. The new pattern has interactions at the atomic level, but it also has interactions that span the pattern itself. And these interactions are now spatially significantly larger than would be possible with a normal material. This opens a whole field of physics called twistronics. And honestly, I expect a Nobel Prize in this field at some point in the future. Different twist angles effectively make different materials, but making all of these is very time consuming. Someone has to make a stack of these materials at each angle where one stack can take weeks to make and weeks to measure. This is where this new microscope has completely changed the game. It solves the problem by making the microscope do the twisting for us. Basically, the microscope consists of a plate in which one layer is placed and then another plate that also has a single layer on it that can be brought down to touch one another. By allowing one of the plates to rotate, all of the angles can then be measured continuously with one sample. An important distinction from normal microscopes is that this microscope is electrical. 
it passes a current from the bottom to the top and then measures how this changes with the twist angle, which for many of these materials is the parameter that we want to measure. While we know that for graphene, the electrical state changes drastically from metallic to superconducting to even more exotic states like topological insulators, there are many more materials to explore with this technique and we simply don't know what interesting physics we will find along the way. 2D materials are extremely exciting. Scientists are starting to make the fundamental components of quantum computers out of two-dimensional materials. Check out this video to learn more.